Hello, I'm John Bachman. The stock markets have been dancing in record territory today. The Dow Jones Industrial Average up at above 18,000 for much of the morning. The S&P 500 has been trading around record highs as well. Stocks are being fueled by news of 5% economic growth. 5% economic growth in the third quarter. Of course, we'll have the closing numbers for you coming up here on Newsmax TV. And you can always check with moneynews.com for the latest financial headlines. Also, protest leaders are ignoring pleas from the mayor of New York, Bill de Blasio. He asked protesters over the killings of black men by police to put their protests on holds until after the funeral of the two murdered police officers. We're in a very difficult moment. Um, our focus has to be on these families, and we are in a season, again, that suggests we have to find a way forward. That's supposed to be a time of peace. It's supposed to be a time of reconciliation. But protest leaders, including Al Sharpton, say they won't stop. The funeral for Officer Rafael Ramos is set for this weekend. Plans are still being finalized for the funeral of Officer Weijin Liu. Protesters do plan to be back out on the streets today in Milwaukee to, as well. This after a DA decided not to bring charges against a former police officer in the shooting death of a black man there. The DA says that it was in self-defense. Christopher, Christopher Manny was fired by the Milwaukee police chief after the April shooting of Dontre Hamilton for breaking department rules. The Justice Department is also launching its own investigation. And after three violent attacks in France over the last several days, the French prime minister says his country is under a terrorist threat. Hundreds of French troops have now been ordered onto security patrols. At least 10 people were hurt after a man drove a van into a crowd near, near the city of Nantes. This comes after a similar attack by a driver yesterday in Dijon. On Saturday, three people, were, uh, three people, three police officers, I should say, were stabbed in central France. And memorial services have been held in Australia for two people killed in the Sydney hostage crisis. Thousands attended the services for Tory Johnson and Katrina Dawson. Both were killed at the end of the siege last week. And Australia's Prime Minister is asking everyone to stay vigilant. I'm alerting people uh, to the fact that the terror threat remains high. And as you'll all understand, um, at this level, uh, an attack is likely. Uh, that hostage taker was killed by police. And New York Congressman is ready to plead guilty to charges of tax evasion. Staten Island's Michael Grimm will reportedly enter a guilty plea today to avoid a trial that's set to start next month. He is accused of hiding a million dollars in sales and wages at a Manhattan restaurant that he owns, but he was reelected to office. And keep an eye on the weather if you're traveling today or tomorrow. Nearly half of the country could be hit by heavy winds and rains. And Mideast, in the Midwest, rather, snow could happen on Christmas Eve. So keep your eye out. 98 million people expected to travel over the next couple days. Another update coming up for you in 30 minutes.